What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James, man. I'm back in the building, and uh, you know we're doing it at work. We're doing the work thing right quick. But I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, obviously, we know about the announcement of the new defensive coordinator and Mike Zimmer. Um, now, you know, I've been vocal about it. Uh, I want to talk about something real quick before I talk about that. Excuse me, this D-Law thing. I'm going to keep it real like with the thing with D-Law said when he said they got tired, they were it was a long run. I honestly feel like he got blindsided by that question. I really feel like he didn't know that question was coming and he really didn't know what to say. So I ain't even holding him to the fire on that. Like, you know, we got tired. It was a long season. I just really feel like he didn't what didn't know that question was coming. Was very surprised about that question and really didn't know how to give an answer to it. And I think that's the best answer that he thought of at the, on the top of his head. Because you can see him kind of thinking and stuttering. So I ain't hating on you, D-Law, for that. I, I just feel like that was a tough question um, out of nowhere. And wh how, how could you really answer it? What about the adjustments in the second half? What could you say? Like, what could you really say to that? So... I ain't really hating on D-Law on that comment. I just felt like he was blindsided and he was trying to figure out an answer because he knew um, that was terrible what happened. There's no answer you could give except that we we were trash, right? Um, maybe could have just said that and that would have made it better. I don't know. But I want to talk about this Mike Zimmer thing and, 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 and all this stuff that's been happening in these Twitter streets and it seems like there's a lot of dissension maybe back and forth um you know these opinions um a few people have spoke on it but i'm gonna speak on it from my end everybody has a right to their own opinion right none of these are facts that any of y'all are saying in these streets to about zimmer as far as it's going to be great here it's going to be this it's going to be that you're taking an educated guess just like i'm taking an educated guess we're, we're talking about opinions none of these are facts so, you know, I am allowed, once again, to have that opinion of, yes, Zimmer is a good coach, but I don't like the hiring process that the Cowboys do. And I think that's what the people are missing. It's not the fact that Mike Zimmer is not a good defensive mind and he's not a defense, good defensive coach, because I liked when he was here in Dallas. I, I never wanted him to leave. I liked Mike Zimmer as a coach. When he was in with Cincinnati Bengals, I wanted him to come back over to Dallas back then, like when it was like 23. 10, he, 2014, he became the coach of the Vikings, but he had that little tenure with the uh, Bengals. He was still in his younger years then, and I was like, yes, I would love to have a Mike Zimmer back because Mike Zimmer does go hard in the paint. He does, um, you know, you probably won't get the friendship. He's going to yell. He's going to he's gonna do that, right? But I think y'all missing the point of what I said, okay? When I said I don't want retreads, I don't want these old guys, Everybody wants to send me 3,000 tweets trying to justify the old people to me. You can't do it. You cannot do it. All right. Um, retire, and this, I, this, I'm 51 years old. Okay. So I'm not hating on old people. But the retirement age in the world or in the U.S. is 67 years old. Retirement age. They said that's the year age that you should retire. You put in all your work. Now go chill. You retire. That's the age. Well, when I look at our team, they hired Mike McCarthy in his 50s, but he had sat out a year. I don't like the hiring process. You sat out a year and they picked you up. Now, I wanted McCarthy, okay, uh, I, because I felt like, you know what, if you just left a Jason Garrett, and y'all try to do the young thing, and this was the young, wrong young guy to go with because he was just a son. You feel me? Maybe if you went to the outside of the organization and got a young coach, I'd have been better. But Jason Garrett was your son. So that youngness with him, he was your son. I, I can't get excited about that. All right? And so then when you're telling me about the hiring process, Mike McCarthy, they, they interviewed Marvin Lewis for the – Rooney rule and then hired McCarthy. They already knew who they wanted. So they just basically threw the interview in there just to save face. 
And then now you got Dan Quinn who's leaving. And now you got, since Dan Quinn was leaving, you go through this hiring process. And as soon as Mike Zimmer was mentioned, or as soon as he said he was interested in this job, it was almost like, okay, yep, that's our coach. That's who we want. We don't want nobody else. Um, and that's what it is. So let's go ahead with these dummy interviews, right? Of the Rex Ryans and the Durden. And, you know, let's go through these, these fake interviews. But we know who we're hiring. We know Mike Zimmer's coming back here. I don't like that process because you really didn't go after anybody else. Because I said it as soon as Zimmer talked about how he was interested in his job, I said he was getting hired. How would I know that? You heard all in the Twitter streets about everybody talking about Zimmer. That's telling you they had already hired him. And who did they hire? Mike Zimmer. It was the worst kept secret in the world. You understand that that hiring process is flawed to me. Y'all still go with the comfortable things. Cowboys go with it was comfortable. We're familiar with him where we don't want to take a chance on anything. This in my opinion, fake all in. We'll see. Let me see to believe it. It's a fake all in. All in is a 67 year old Mike Zimmer. That's an all in. Look at that. That's all I'm saying. And then when people are like, I said he's been out of football a couple years. People bring up his issues with his son and his wife. I totally understand that. And I, I'm not not being not sensitive to that. But the fact that the match still remains, you were still out of the league for a couple of years. You're 67 years old. Your retirement age. Vic Fangio. They just hired him in Philly. He's like 65. No, I wouldn't want that. I don't care that he wanted to be this and that. Y'all doing this because y'all desperate. Look at the league as a whole. The average age of an NFL coach is 47 years old. If you go through all the defensive coordinators in the league right now, Dallas is the top. I believe they have the oldest defensive coordinator in the league right now. That's like hiring Monty Kiffin. I'm not saying he's Monty Kiffin-ish, but you remember when they hired Monty Kiffin? Oh, Monty Kiffin, Tampa 2, he had coached these Super Bowls, and he did this and he did that. He was 72 years old, and it was a disaster. What if Mike Zimmer comes in and it's not good like everybody says? What you going to say then? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And then when people come to me, well, who did you want? Who was your suggestion? Stop complaining all the time and give us suggestions, give us solutions. Well, Dallas didn't even try, okay? They waited for Dan Quinn to see what he was going to do. And they weren't going to do that. So me giving a suggestion, they would not even look at a young guy or a young player. They looked at Marquise Manuel, but you can't tell me, yeah, they dirt him for the ver man. That was just a safe face. They would look. Manuel was never gonna come in here. Are you understanding that? Once they hone in on a player or a coach or excuse me, a coach, they're not going anywhere else. That's a flawed process to me. And you're getting the old retreads. I'm sorry, Mike Zimmer is a good coach, but he's still an old retread. And then people telling me, oh, Steve Spagnola, he's old. He's in the Super Bowl. Uh, Steve Wilkes. Steve Wilkes is 54 years old and he's been with the team. 54 is not old for the NFL. It's 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 getting up there. When you're talking about 60 years old and 62, I don't want those type of ages anymore. That's just me. Um, and then when you talk about Spagnola, Spagnola's like 64. He came on with the team at 59, right? He came on with the team at 59. So he was borderline. You feel me? When you're getting into 65, 66, 67, no, that's all retread. And now everybody was talking themselves into it because nobody was talking this and took, talking that. But now that Mike Zimmer's here, the, 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 the happiness begins of people were all down and out on Dallas. And then within a month, now everybody's, oh, yeah, we back. Zimmer's going to do it. Zimmer's going to do this. Zimmer's going to do that. Zimmer's gonna, like he's going to come in and be a savior. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not going to be a savior. I don't believe that. So, you know, this is just my opinions on this thing. You know, I'm sorry if y'all don't like what I say about it. I'm sorry, but I'm going to I'm going to speak how I feel. And I just I'm not excited about Mike Zimmer being here at that age. Um, 
we waited too long. And even if we didn't, even if not we, even if Dallas didn't wait, they still would have went with the older coach. They, they stay in their comfort zone. They don't go out of their comfort zone. Mike Zimmer was a comfortable hire for them because they knew about him. He had been in the program twice already. They knew about Mike Zimmer. They were they are not going out of their comfort zone at no time. They stay in comfort zone. And as long as they stay in comfort zone all the way around, Dallas ain't never going to take that next step. And so that's why I'm not excited about the hire. I don't hate the hire. I'm not. Oh, I hate. No, I'm not. I don't hate the hire. I'm just not excited about the hire and bringing in a guy who's 67 years old, damn near retirement age, 70 years old, thinking he's going to come in and do miracle workers for the Cowboys because he can yell and he screams. I've seen the tweets when they show people yelling and him yelling and getting on people. OK, but y'all need to understand this is a new NFL. That's why the NFL is getting younger now. Just so this so I can say this before I get off here. The NFL is getting younger now. 47 years old is the average age of an NFL coach. It is getting younger. Look, go go pull up Wikipedia. Go pick up anything. Look at the average ages of the defensive coordinators, the NFC and AFC and coaches. And look at the list of coaches who have been to a Super Bowl. They're young. Andy Reid has been made it, but... Uh, 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 Sean uh, Mc, Mc, McVay, young. Nick Sirianni, young. What's the guy that went Cincinnati? Young. Uh, um, I could pull up this list. I don't have it. There's at least five or six coaches that were, I believe, under 45 that have been to a Super Bowl. So I'm just saying, man, <clears throat> as I close here. These old coaches, in my opinion, I don't know if they're in touch with these younger players. That's why the coaches are getting younger and younger. So they, these ain't this ain't the '70s where you could scream and holler and go off on play. On, on, this ain't the '70s or '80s no more. The game has changed, and all that hollering and screaming don't be effective to these players nowadays as much as y'all think it does. You got to meet them where they're at too. Hollering and screaming just don't work like that no more. And just because he can holler and scream don't mean that it's going to be better. Now, I know he's the Shanahan killer, supposedly. We'll see. But these older coaches are being phased out, and there's a reason why. And that's all I'm saying. Get out your comfort zone, cowboys. I'm out. Peace.